What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jezil. Of course, I changed my name and my profile picture, so it's gonna be a bit different in time. So, today I'm gonna be showing you a tour of the world that I said you guys can join. Links down below. Go join my Discord server, friend me on Minecraft, or comment down your username so I can friend you and you can. You know, join the party. It's not a server, it's my world, so I have to be on for you to play it. So, let's get into it. So, right here is my house. Right there, those are my dogs. Huh. Spike. And, well, you guys can choose a name for his little girlfriend over here, but let's get in here. This is my little crib where I live. <laughs> This is my farm, where I get all the food for, well, myself, because it's only myself that's been in the world ever since it's created, so, uh, a bit lonely over here, guys, a bit lonely. So, this is the inside of my house. I have a little storage area down here, a little kitchen thingamajig. Then uh, we have a bit of a storage area. Then a little crafting table over there. And uh, when you get into my bedroom, you have my netherite armor. Yeah, no one comes steal my netherite armor when you get in here. Because if you do, I'm going to whack you with Banhammer. Banhammer has a sharpness 5, looting 3, fire aspect 3, 2, and mending 1. So this sword is going to last forever. And it's going to kick anyone's butt out of here. So it's on my chest and stuff. The only thing I have is this chest with my buried treasure map and uh, my trident. Nothing much after that, really. And when we jump back in down here, let's go to the spawn point. Where you actually spawn in before you do much this world. And my enchanting area is in here somewhere, but I'm not really going to show that because I don't want anybody to snoop into my house just for the enchanting stuff. But maybe you can snoop in once in a while, but I'll show that later in the video. I, uh, straighten my way up here. I really like flying in creative mode, even though I have the ability to, but not really a fan of that. When you spawn in, this... Hang it. The world spawn is over here. Right in the center. So when you spawn in, you have some chain armor ready for you to go. Only take one set. Only take one set. Look at the title of the chest. Take a set. Nothing more, nothing less. So I don't expect many people to actually join the Minecraft server. Some people watch the video for Call of Duty, some people watch the video for Fortnite, other people watch the video for Minecraft. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Land that way, like mainland is right there and there's a little teeny island. You can see it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, don't break the dock. I mean it. So, uh, I have a little boat ready for me already. So I'm going to show you a little trick on how to get a console controls on your mobile phone in my next video. So uh, make sure you stick around for that as well. It's going to be a very short video anyways because it's just like a flick of a button. Or a couple of buttons. Uh, we'll just jump into this boat. Yeah. Without any mods, you can get this without any mods as well. And we can just let that dolphin follow us for now. <laughs> yeah, and for the first person to um, join the world, this spaceship right here, did you see the treasure map in my chest? I'm gonna put that treasure map back right here. You're gonna find that treasure, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave a big hole when you gonna see the treasure. So, uh, what's that dolphin gonna do for me? Nothing. Yeah, I expect it. It's not even following me, so. If we come in here, 
As you can see, it's already open, like I said. Come on. How do, how do you any in the exit? I think I saw a drowned in there. Come on. Hi! Whatever, I'm just gonna open all this. What if this dolphin wants to get inside? Yeah, I don't think they will. But, if you come through this door, you're gonna see this chest. This is much just a couple books and paper that you have to treasure map. It's not that cool because it's gonna take you a bit to find the treasure map. It's like almost a thousand blocks away, but most of the part is water, so. If you take one of the boats, then you can find a Did that dolphin just jump? Yeah, I wasn't paying quite attention, so. Let's go over to that island. So, one of my friends is gonna join me as the one of the admins of this island. Of, or of this world. So, make sure to look out for that. come over here there, there is really no point of coming over here because by the time you guys might even come here you're you're gonna see a house and that's not gonna be my house gonna be my friend's house like i said and even if you do come here and you don't see any house this sign is gonna be here build space occupied so uh let's jump straight back into our boat and um uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the other island. So there will be certain privileges for how the heck did a wandering trader just spawn? I, I, I don't care. I literally don't care. Wandering traders are like pretty useless. Let's look. Look at the thra trades they're gonna have. Trade. Who wants lily pads? Like only for decoration you can have these lily pads. But other than that, who wants lily pads? I mean, the cocoa beans. They don't even, that doesn't even make any sense. Go to a flipping forest and go get some cocoa beans or something. You have saplings. There are tons of trees around the entire flipping area. There is no flipping point. And flowers. Like, that's like one of the most stupid ones yet. There are flowers everywhere. I mean, slime balls. He only gives you one slime ball per four dim for uh, four emeralds. Bruh, they should buff the wandering trader's shirts. Huh? You got some packed ice. Like, <coughs> how did we get it? Is it possible to steal the? No, it's like, wait. Do I literally have the trader? I have to flip uh -huh. the trader in my flipping boat. So like I was saying before, this trader came and interrupted me. Well, not really. But, yeah, whatever. Huh? Boat. <coughs> you know, you could have that boat. I'm gonna kill you. <coughs> Lons, huh? I'm gonna kill you. <coughs> and I'm gonna kill this. <coughs> and there we go. That's all I needed. Then, the, like I was saying before I got interrupted again, there will be certain privileges for the first ever player to log in. So you gotta log in quick because these privileges are gonna be limited, limited time offer. So make sure to look after that. For example, like this says, Build space empty. Five iron ingots to admin's house. So you have to pay five iron ingots to my house if you want to use this space right here. There's five iron ingots. I can even show you where to get those five iron ingots. But if you're not the first person and you choose this place and the first person like wants to live in one of those mainland right there that I'll get to in a second, you have to pay the five um, iron ingots. But if you're the first person, you can literally live here for free like you're not gonna pay this five iron ingots is a uh, five iron ingots per every day you log in it's pretty expensive i know it's pretty expensive 
But it's worth it because this land is going to be have some cool stuff in it. And if we move over to the other dock, right there, there will be certain docks around certain places so you can uh, park your boats. So I'm going to put you here, leave boats. And it says, welcome to mainland. You are free to explore and build to your hearts. Kind of kind of like, you don't have to pay for any of this. You don't have to pay for the entire mainland. It's mainland. You could go as far as possible. There, if you want, uh, there's a stronghold, like, I don't know, 10,000 blocks away from here. <laughs> Good luck finding that. So, you could go look for the stronghold. And another thing, first, if you want to be part of the admins, you have to pay mm, 10 um, inch in iron ingots. Yeah, iron ingots. You have to have 10 um, netherite ingots. I think that's what they call it. I'm not so sure. Yeah. So if I see that you're rich enough for that, you will be made an admin. So, look out for that. I wonder why there's a lot of caves with water. I've barely seen any cave that's not enclosed in water. Is this a lake or something? Like, okay, this might be a fish cool fishing spot. I'm gonna make a little dock here where people start fishing. You know what? I, I might even start doing that. So, this is how I make all dock thingamajigs. And we got this. This right here. Here. Dang it. Here. Here. And if you guys watch my Fortnite content, you'll know what this is about. Fishing barrels. You're going to be fishing barrels. So I'm going to get this right here. Let's put this. Let's say there will be three fishing barrels. Three fishing barrels. And the fish, wait, did a drown just spawn in there? No way. If this has a trident, it has a trident. Whoever fishes here first might be able to get a flipping trident. And if you want to enchant it, just come over to my house and pay me three ancient debris. Or you can just pay me. Either three ancient debris or ten diamonds. It's up to you. It's literally up to you. So I'm gonna put these fishing rods right there. There's gonna be another fishing rod. Uh, oh, dang it, I dropped my fences. Fishing barrel. Put this in there and put another one. In there. I leave two in this one. Now we need for three. There's going to be the only two docks. Well, you have the rest, rest of mainland. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, we have to end it here. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with all notifications turned on. Don't also forget to join the Discord link. Uh, the Discord link will be in the description. Friend me on Minecraft as well if you want to be able to access this world. And... As always, I'm Reziel. I'm Jeziel. <laughs> I forgot about that. And I'll catch you later.